Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is suppose you want to PCR amplify the gray boxed uh, segment of the following double-stranded DNA sequence. Question A. Write the sequences of the primers you would use to amplify as small a uh, segment as possible that includes the uh, complete uh, grade portion. Assume that the primers have to be 10 bases long specify 5 perm end and 3 perm ends of the primers. So in order to answer this question we have to find uh, boundaries of our primers. So we need to uh, PCR amplify this region of the double stranded DNA. So our uh, primers uh, boundaries have to be also here. So for example for one primer it have to be here and for the second primer it have to be here. So now uh, in order to answer our question where uh, primers have to be, uh, let's find for example for this primer that have to be here, uh, we told it have to be 10 bases long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here is going to be our boundaries and uh, in order to find uh, which uh, strand we are going to use, uh, everything you have to know that um, DNA polymerase only adds a new nucleotides to growing uh, strand from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So that means that our primer have to be here. So and it's going to have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And it's going to be complementary to this strand. As you see this strand has 3 prime end. That's why uh, primer would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And what is it going to be? Uh, a sequence and basically the sequence is going to be uh, complementary to this sequence. So cytosine or oh, sorry guanine would be pair with cytosine, adenine would be pair with thymine and as you see this is uh, the strand also complementary to this strand. So basically the sequence is going to be the same as a sequence of this complementary fragment. So and this fragment, as you see, also has the same orientation, 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. So we can say that uh, sequence is going to be the same as uh, lower strand. So this is going to be the sequence. And as for the second primer, once again, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bases. And let's put Banderas here. So uh, Banderas would be here. And once again, where our primer have to be. Now you know that it have to be here. It's going to have 5 prime and here, 3 prime and here, and it's going to grow in this direction and second primer is going to grow in that direction. And once again we already have a sequence here. The sequence is going to be the same as here. And once again as you see we have 5 prime and here, 3 prime and here. So basically uh, I have no uh, space to put all this small um, letters for each nucleotide but uh, once again adenine would be spur with thymine just like we see here guanine would be spur with cytosine just like we see here so uh, this primer would have the same sequence as complementary strand of the DNA now second question uh, once again uh, we can say that uh, this is primer number one and this is primer number two 
or we can say that uh, this is primer number one and this is primer number two. There is no rules about it, but uh, the rules are that when, for example, if you want to order primers, you have to order them, uh, for example, first primer would be from 5 to 3 prime direction and the second primer you also have to order from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so once again uh, let me show it here is going to be the sequence 5 prime and 3 prime and of one primer and the second primer we also have to order from 5 prime and to 3 prime and and uh, here is going to be a sequence so sequence of this primer sequence of this primer so we do not order one primer for example from companies that produce primers uh, from 5 prime and to 3 prime and and the one the, the other one for example for, from 5 prime and to 3 prime and here we just uh, like flip them over so they would be uh, on the left 5 prime end and on the uh, right side 3 prime end. And uh, you have to understand that when we mix uh, millions of these primers with uh, double stranded DNA, these primers would find their places, uh, would flip, uh, it doesn't matter. But when we order, we always order like uh, 5 prime end on the left, 3 prime end on the right. So next question, question B, if you do 30 rounds of PCR, what will be the length of the majority of the products in uh, base pairs? Assume that you are using the primers you are specified in question A. And it is easy, a majority uh, of the product, the length of the product of course would be uh, what is shown here uh, in gray color. So let's just count. Uh, once again, 10 uh, bases here, 10 bases here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 26 bases would be our product. But we also may have uh, some artifacts, for example, this primer, when uh, PCR would begin, uh, this primer wouldn't stop, uh, this uh, DNA strand wouldn't stop growing here it would uh, go up to the uh, end and this uh, one also wouldn't stop here it also would go up to the end uh, basically it can be up to 2000 base pairs but uh, it only would be for the first um, cycle uh, and then we would have a majority of our product uh, that is going to be of this side so these artifacts would be so few uh, like after 30 cycles we would have only uh, like 30 um, strands of the DNA uh, of, uh, of the size that is going to be considered artifact and of course human eye just wouldn't be able to notice it when we run uh, PCR or sorry run uh, gel electrophoresis and we would have billions of copies of this uh, fragment of the DNA which we would be able to see with naked eye or uh, with use of the black light uh, we would see it as a band on, uh, when we run gel electrophoresis. So the answer for the second question would be 26 base pairs we expect to be majority of uh, product of this PCR reaction and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye